What's up you guys, my name's Robson and welcome to my new vanilla Minecraft series. I know this is gonna get memed and probably spam disliked, but Minecraft has been an extremely popular survival game over the years, and it's one that I've really never played for more than a day or two, and admittedly I've made fun of people for playing it in the past as well. But after seeing PewDiePie return to the game recently, I learned that there's actually some cool features in the game that I never knew about, like being able to tame animals, keep them as pets and name them, or ride horses and breed them to try and get better stats. These things piqued my interest and made me want to give a legitimate shot to this game that I've never really tried before, other than a day or two at a time, and I figured why not try to make some content out of it and turn it into a YouTube series. I don't know how long it'll last, and I don't know how good it'll be, but I'm a complete noob with only a very rudimentary understanding of the basics of survival, and hopefully this series will document my progress towards becoming a master builder, explorer, and survivor, and the cool part is that you guys can help me to learn along the way and give me tips and tricks to make me better at all of the above. That said, let's get started. All right, there's a very good chance that this one stays YouTube exclusive because God forbid if I stream Minecraft on my Twitch channel in 2019, I will get roasted. So if you do enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like because it will probably only be happening on YouTube and I'm only gonna continue the series if I have fun and if my YouTube audience don't all unsubscribe because they see Minecraft. But PewDiePie's doing it, so we're gonna do it too. Robson Noob. Let's get this world started. I don't know much about Minecraft. Uh, I used to play drop maps back in like 2009 where you avoid obstacles while falling for five minutes and then have to land in a drop of water to not get smashed. Uh, and I also tried an adventure map once. Ooh, we started out in like a jungle. It's probably gonna lag while the world loads, but yeah, you start out and there's like a monument in the middle and then you gotta go in a different direction all the time to adventure and get a different color of wool and then you bring the, each color of wool back to the monument and when you fill up the monument with all the different types of wool, you win. Uh, that's pretty much all I've ever done. In terms of legit survival uh, survival mode in Minecraft, I pretty much have never done it. I've tried, made it like a day, and then moved on to other games, and instead made fun of people for playing Minecraft because I'm a douche. But today is going to be a different day. I believe that today is the day when we turn the tides in our favor and become a Minecraft professional. And although I don't know much about this game, I do know that anyone who does anything other than get logs right at the beginning is doing it wrong. So at least you guys can give me credit for running through a bush that hurt me somehow. I didn't know that. At least you can give me credit for properly getting wood at the start. Um, we're going to have to look for a base. We will make some tools and we will get started with our survival. Food, we could just kill animals, but if I remember correctly, you can actually like set up little pens and then drag animals into the pens and you can get them to multiply. We can just breed and then slaughter different types of animals to sustain ourselves with food. Also, I recently learned there's fishing in this game from watching a YouTube video. So we could try to, uh, to go find a fishing spot for sustenance as well. But I think the plan is going to be just to set up like a little ranch with a bunch of, like one pen for chickens, one pen for cows, one pen for whatever else uh, pigs I think you can get. I, there's horses too, like horses in Minecraft. There's so much stuff that I didn't know exists in this game, and I'm actually pretty excited. I know you can tame pets. I have no idea how, but I know you can tame pets. I know there is a way to ride around on horses, and llamas are in this game too, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, that said, I'm going to try and get like a full stack of logs here because we're in the middle of a forest. There's no reason not to get extras. Probably not going to waste logs for our starter home just to survive the first night. I'm going to want to dig into like the side of a dirt mound somewhere and just build a little bit of shelter. I don't know. Are these aggressive? Like, is this far? <laughs> hey there, buddy. It's good to see you, man. Oh, okay. So they run away. It doesn't look like they're going to attack me, which is good. But I also don't think I can kill them for food, so I, I actually don't know what to do. The only thing I don't like is that I haven't seen any rock yet, so there's no way for me to get coal, which I'll need to make... Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, sweet. I, I take it back. We're good. This is where we want to be. If we can find coal, then we can make... Oh, sweet. I found coal. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Here we are. Let's get started. Wait, we'll just, I forgot. We gotta make, we gotta make some planks and then we make a crafting table and then we place that crafting table down and now we make tools. So to make tools, we do this to get sticks and then we do this and I think we do that to get a pickaxe and then we do that to get an ax and then we make some more sticks and then we do this to get a shovel and then we do this to get a sword. And then we do this. 
hold on. We do this to get a hoe. Not that we really need a hoe yet, but that I think is all our basic tools for survival. So now we need to go get some cobblestone and some coal before it gets dark. Uh, let me get this back up with the axe real quick. Uh, I definitely saw coal up here somewhere. I don't remember where. There it is. All right, sweet. Dude, this is like a perfect start. I didn't even have to do this multiple times. I thought for sure I was going to die at least once or twice and have to start over and pretend I didn't. But look at this. Right off the bat, we got ourselves some coal. We got some cobblestone. And we are ready to make some torches. And there's definitely a skeleton in there. If there's one sound I remember from Minecraft ever, it is those annoying skeletons with the bow and arrow because they have insane accuracy and unlimited range and you're just minding your own business, not even night yet, and the skeletons find a way. All right. So, put our crafting table down in the corner and then we're gonna make some doors. Throw those bad boys right here look at that and then we'll just wall this off like so and we're safe all right um we don't have a bed but what we can do for now is just make some torches keep it lit that way no like bad guys spawn in here and then just to remember where we are i'm gonna put some torches out there and so we have a little bit of time left before nightfall. I want to try and go find some sheep. I don't even know if we're in the right biome. There's a chance that sheep won't even spawn here. But the reason we want sheep is because they have wool. And if we get wool before nightfall, then as soon as it gets dark, we can just sleep in our bed. And when you're asleep, it just skips nighttime and goes straight back to day. Before I get lost and run too far in the wrong direction, I think we're just going to wait it out for the night and then run to a new biome tomorrow and hopefully set up like an actual nice house. And we'll get started. We'll find a nice little starter home, a nice little area. But for surviving day number one, I think priority numero uno is to just get indoors before nightfall and stay safe until tomorrow. What is that over there? I'm already changing my mind because there's wolves over here. There's a lot of wolves. Here's a cow. Actually, I'm sorry to do this to you, buddy. I really am, but I probably need the meat, so it's just really unfortunate that you had to be the one, but you had to be the one. Oh, it hurts my soul to have to do that, man. But yo, it's getting dark out. Um. Where did I, where did my house, where was my house? Uh, do we have nine cobblestone? We have plenty. We only need eight. So we made a furnace. With that furnace, we're going to cook our first meat. Uh, this goes here. This goes here. See, that coal is coming in the clutch because not only do we use it for torches, but we can also use it to keep ourselves alive and eat some food. All right. It appears as though the sun has risen and it is time to head to a new biome. I don't want to waste too much time because I need as much daylight as possible. During nighttime, we upgraded all of our tools from wooden to stone. We threw away our wooden tools. We got our torches. We got some extra sticks and that's it. If you don't think I'm taking my doors back, then you are crazy. Hopefully a wolf can find this nice little cove to keep himself safe and warm from the harsh winters in the future. But for now, it is time for us to venture onward. I again have no idea where we're going. But I would like to get out of this biome because I haven't seen a single sheep. So I guess we're just going to run until we're no longer in this forest. And if we can end up in like a savanna, that would be ideal. But beggars can't be choosers. And this is honestly one of the most fun parts of games like this, in my opinion, is just exploring. I have no idea where we're headed today. I have no idea what we're going to find. But I do know that we're getting the heck out of this forest. Uh, I don't even know if it's called a forest. The top comment's gonna be like, oh my god, new Rob thinks she's in a forest, but really it's a lush jungle. It's like, I don't know where I am. It's definitely not a jungle, but whatever the name of this biome is, I'm getting the heck out of it. Looky here. That looks beautiful. You look just like my high thread count covers, my man. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. I'm hopefully not going to have to kill more of you, but now we have three wool, which means we can make a bed. Dude, I already found iron. No way. It's just one block. But can I, hello, can I pick it up? Thank you. Please tell me there's some more iron in here. 
All right, looks like there's a lot of coal. I don't know how we found iron already, though, man. Iron is so useful. But I need more of it than just one block, so hopefully we'll find a little bit more. I remember in the past, I had to dig, like, for a year to find iron under the ground. And this is, like, we're, like, one block below the earth, and we just found one. I don't know if one block means that there's going to be more nearby. Like, should I keep digging around here, or was that just... Is it literally just one block? Either way, I fell in this hole by accident, so I'm going to get out, and I'm, I'm going to... I need to keep looking, because, like... We don't need iron right now, but I want to find a cool place to live before sundown. There's a wolf. I know you can make them your dog, like, pet somehow, but I don't know how to turn them from a wolf into a dog. So maybe if you guys... That'll be the question of the day that I need help from YouTube about. So if you guys can comment down below and let me know what I need to do to turn a wolf in the wild into a pet dog, I would be greatly appreciative. Yo! I don't know what this is, but this is the type of place I definitely want to call home. Look at this place, dude! There's like snowy mountains to the left. Looks like there's a jungle or a forest right in front of me. And we just got these wide open plains. Look at how many horses there are. There's little lakes that we can go fishing in. This is definitely the type of place that I would like to build my home. So I think we're just going to plop down right here. I'll set out a little plot of land. Keep in mind, this is my starter home. I don't know how to build yet. So we're probably just going to build like some random wooden structure. But I'm going to make this my house right here, right, right near all these horses and stuff. It should be dope. Alright, and here it is. Some of the monsters tried to break down our door in the night, but we are ready to get started. I absolutely love this place. In the middle of a lush, open plain, there's just plenty of wildlife roaming around. We got donkeys, we got chickens, we got cows, uh, we got some pigs over there, there's horses. I'm, I just love it here, man. I'm excited. I'm going to try and get some fences set up so that we can start luring some animals into pens and get a little ranch started. I might also try and get a bucket if we can find some more iron to get some farming started and start using a hoe to start growing some grain and some wheat. Uh, probably build a roof at some point as well. Obviously, the, uh, the the house does have a ceiling, but we haven't built a roof on top of it yet. So we got a lot to do here. Hopefully, the beginning of episode two will have this place a bit more spruced up. But I'm really happy to call this place home, and I am excited to continue on with our adventure. That'll do it, though, for today's episode. I feel like that's a perfect ending point for day one. We survived, and we got ourselves a home. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it, and also please subscribe. My YouTube subscriber count is right here, and you can see it go up in real time throughout the episodes if you subscribe, so I would really appreciate it. Most of the people watching are not subscribed, and it really helps the channel to grow. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great one, and I will see you next time.